Hi my lovely ladies and gents. Um, so today we're going to get into some dating tips that I feel like everybody could live by but because I'm a college student maybe people my age will relate to me too. Um, so yeah we're just going to be ready getting ready and stuff. We're not going anywhere we're just going to go to online class but there's some cute little Hispanic zaddies. <laughs> Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's been like two days, but let's just pretend that I came back from the event. So, like I was saying, let's get back to the tips. So another is privacy. And let me tell you why. Like off of the first bat experience, I learned that privacy is going to be a really big um, part when you do get serious with somebody just because like it's okay to brag about somebody it's okay to post your your little boot bang your little shum shum whatever y'all call each other moo moos privacy is really important just because like people be just la 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 living my life like they just be talking and saying stuff and like putting their input they be doubting your significant other they be putting them down they make rumors about people like <laughs> They just be kind of ruining it for everybody else. And I don't think they mean to do that. Um, a lot of good input is, what do you call it, appreciated, depending on if it's asked for. Like for me, I learned to just not intervene or interject with like my friends' relationships when they tell me something really negative. Like it, when I do say stuff, it's out of being protective and it's out of oh, I want the best for you. I want to let you know that I feel this way about something. But sometimes, like, you just don't need to be telling people what you think. And I learned that by just kind of feeling the room. Like, okay, like, I don't think they want to hear something they already know. So let me just shut the heck up, you know? Shut up. So I'm pretty sure I don't need to really explain this. But for example, it's kind of like you get with somebody and, like, they're known to be a certain way or act a certain way, or treat girls a certain way, or whatever. But for you, you're kind of just seeing it for yourself, and you don't want other people to get in the way of that, or you don't want to overthink your decision, or second-guess your decision, and like, that's what I've done before. And I regret it, because people don't really need to know your business, and like, they don't really need to feel or interject and say how they feel, even if it's sometimes, you know, appreciated, depending on the severity of the situation but a lot of the times like if they just be saying stuff like oh you're back with so and so again like oh like yeah i am you know but um that's one thing is just privacy like just keep it to a minimum tell your friends obviously if you're happy let them know if you got engaged they put the ring on it let him let them know you know what i mean but everything else like arguments and stuff like that only go to who you're most comfortable to and only go to who you feel is going to tell you what you need to hear. But always let them know to like, hey, girl, like I want to vent to you, but like I just want to vent to you, not ask for advice or whatever. Just to kind of set the basis down like, girl, I'm going to tell you something, but I want to just let it out. And I just want to tell you just to tell you kind of thing. So privacy. That's number one. And oh to God. not base your relationships off of other people you see on social media, which is another mistake that I did, which is why I'm telling y'all, don't do that, please. Because it makes your partner, whoever you're dating, kind of feel like, what? Like, what do you mean I have to be Zac Efron and you have to be Vanessa Hudgens? Like, what? Like, you're Alexis and I'm blah, blah, blah. Like, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Not literally, but like comparing yourself or comparing your significant other to other people in other relationships Mm -mm -mm. don't do that and another thing too is that a lot of people my age have been basing their relationships off of social media and like off of the amount of likes that they get and off of just stupid stuff that literally doesn't mean anything like you can't take a like out and add value to your relationship like you can't take a retweet out of a petty ass tweet that you did because you were mad or something and add value to your relationship like it means nothing okay it means absolutely positively nothing batch so stop that you know this whole section is just social media in general they it gets the best of people and i know that when i get my new boo 
and when I get engaged and stuff or whatever, for example, like once I get engaged, I'm going to just be happy that I'm engaged. And like, that's something that I want this year. So I'm speaking it into existence. I want to be engaged. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, but like, for example, like if I got engaged, obviously I'm going to share that with people and I'm going to share it because I'm happy, but I'm not going to let other, my LED light just unhooked itself. Excuse her. But I'm not going to let people be like, oh, why didn't he give you a bigger size ring? Oh, he got you that ring? It's kind of small now. Like, just stupid, stupid, stupid stuff, you know? Don't let people get in the way of your happiness. And that's one thing I need to learn is, like, I'm still learning to be independent in, in a sense of, like, relationships. Like, I'm still... When I meet new people or when I find my potential boo thing who's, like, king of the sea or whatever the frick... I get excited and I want to tell people but then I remember that I feel like every time I tell people something it like gets jinxed or like they I I um accidentally compare myself to other people's situations not knowing what goes on in other people's situations and then I'm like frick like maybe this isn't the thing for me so yeah that's just another tip is just like obviously it's just don't let social media define your relationships and don't let what other people have to say about your relationship define your relationship yeah, just don't do that also i did my eyebrows on camera they look really light i'm gonna fill them in but i like to conceal them first but anyway so yeah um i don't know what tip i'm on so we're just gonna keep the ball rolling another thing too is to stop overthinking stuff just stop overthinking stuff i this is literally me just telling myself but also telling y'all stop overthinking stuff in your relationship like if they're acting a certain way and you think that it's because they're doing you dirty or whatever, but you don't know for a fact and like you don't confront it and you just drive yourself crazy. And why am I literally exposing myself in front of like 15 people? That's just how it is. And I feel like the way that the reason why I overthink things is because as a kid, sometimes in certain situations, like with my biological dad and stuff and just like stuff I'm not about to get into. Um... I've been let down and like I have just the purest heart and like the purest soul in my opinion and like I wish nothing but the best for people and with people that I really care about and it's just like I have to unlearn expecting the same from people because like people are just not going to give you that but because I've been let down so many times in my life started the snowball of like oh my god like they're acting a certain way their energy is different I'm gonna I'm gonna cry I'm gonna run away we should just break up I'm gonna leave them before they leave me because I'm scared of being hurt like just communicate please just communicate with your partner and like if it is that that oh yeah you're right I didn't want to be with you anymore blah 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 whatever whatever because if you're like me I could feel that I could feel it not all the time, but a lot of the times I'm getting a little better at feeling for that just because I've been through it so much. Um, communicate, please. Don't be going and telling your friends stuff and then have them get in your head about stuff. Don't be telling your family stuff that family members that you know don't like this person. They're obviously going to tell you the worst of the worst. And there you go again, just overthinking, thinking, thinking, thinking. You're like, oh shoot, here we go again. <laughs> and it doesn't solve anything. So please communicate with your partner. Sorry I'm moving around so much. Like, I can't find my other makeup palette. Anyway, so stop overthinking things, please. I don't know if y'all can see anything going on on my eyelids. But in the case that you do, another thing, too, on top of privacy is to not believe everything that somebody tells you. Because a lot of the times... Okay, look. So, boom. When I was in high school, um, right off the bat, when I got in my first relationship... My LED lights are being really disrespectful right now. Anyways, right off the bat, when I got in my first relationship, um, somebody that I guess the guy in the relationship used to date, like, made up hella rumors saying, like, oh, he flirts with other girls, so, so watch out. Like, as if it was Gossip Girl. Like, girl, if you don't go home and do your homework or something, get out of my face. You know what I mean? But, so, me being in my first ever relationship, it was really hard to kind of distinguish from facts and fiction girl because that's just what it is like it's your first relationship like you don't know nothing you know um but as time went by I just kept hearing a whole bunch of stuff and like I didn't know what to believe so it did definitely mess with my head and it just messed with my head and like um I want to say that it was my fault it 
it's not my fault that I believed it, but it's just like there was so many rumors going around. Like at one point I was just like, okay, I don't even know what to do anymore. So I tried just taking myself out of the situation just because I didn't know, girl, I didn't know what to believe and stuff. Like, um, the the point is that a lot of the people who do start these rumors are people that they used to date your boo or they're just like out out to kill like out for vengeance just out just out um trying to just get somebody's attention and all of my setups are seriously like <laughs> they're done they're clocked out anyway they just be out to start stuff and stir the pot because a part of them feels regret for um the way that their relationship ended with your boo however that's not your problem so it's really not your problem and i should not have gone this dark i look like a beehive but anyway yeah so just don't believe everything that you hear because a lot of the times it's from people who are just doing it in a malicious manner who you know they just want to get a reaction out of you they just they're they're insecure about themselves they they're projecting their insecurity for all my single honeys is that what i've been learning is that life is not a movie life is not another cinderella story the only acceptable version being the one with selena gomez so don't even argue me with that life's not a movie y'all you're gonna run into a lot of people you're gonna get back with people you're gonna be disappointed with people you're gonna be um hurt you're gonna be let on you're gonna be strung on you're gonna be in a love triangle hopefully not me and not on y'all but yeah i know it's it's happened but life's not a movie you guys and i say this because tiktok is the culprit for making y'all think that oh if you use the magic eight ball and you say am i gonna get a, a boyfriend which i did so i'm not attacking y'all but i feel like they just have a really good way of thinking that um that like life is just cherries and butterflies in the dating world and that some people do get lucky and congratulations to those who do some people who are not so lucky your time is coming so don't worry but um you know like after your first heartbreak your first whatever or your second heartbreak third heartbreak like it's not the first and it's not going to be the last in some situations but just know that your time is coming don't give up you know like you will i do believe in fairy tale ending sister like i know for a fact a fact that i'm gonna get engaged this year or next year and if not it's okay you know but i better be universe but you know what i mean and i say this because a lot of people have been a lot have been a lot have been messed up and jacked up from past relationships and then they don't believe in love anymore but i believe in love i believe in it and if if you know everyone's different everyone has different situations but i believe in love girl i believe in horse and carriages and stuff like that i believe in it i believe that it happens so just like when you get down you know have your weak moment do what you gotta do and then come back up and be hopeful about the future because it took me a long time to learn that and like it's it helps and it's easier when you are in a different environment like i'm in college right now so like i feel like college is a little bit easier to find your loml but sometimes it's not and like people that i have dated out here and went on dates here they're not here no more why because they disappointed me and they just up and left you know and i was hurt i was down bad for a lot of the time but i got back up because i know that I'm a good person and I'm going to get what I deserve one day. And y'all are going to get what you deserve one day. So don't give up. Whoa. Don't give up. Whoa. Don't give up. I don't know if that song's correct. Whatever. But yeah. And this don't is the up. finished look. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all learned something new or was reminded something. Please know your worth. Be true to yourself. Stay true to yourself throughout everything. And thank you. Have a good day. Mwah.